Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to launch EC2 instances in uh, AWS Web Console. Before going to start uh, AWS uh, Web Console EC2 instances, uh, let me give you some background on what is EC2. EC2 EC2 is Elastic Compute Cloud. It is just like a personal computer. Accessing remotely. That means uh, in Amazon, uh, they have their own data centers in uh, many regions with some available to be zones. So in those data centers, these servers will be uh, running continuously. So we are just accessing those servers using this EC2 instance. So EC2 inst instance uh, provides predefined templates with all operating systems. It provides pre-configured operating systems example Red Hat Linux Amazon Linux Windows Server so based on our business requirement we need to select the operating system on our choice so basically EC2 is uh, nothing but rescaling capacity. EC2 provides resizable capacity. That means we can launch how many servers we want based on the workload, based on the workload. So if you want to run 10 servers, you can launch all 10 servers parallelly. If you want to decrease the number of servers, you can decrease it. So it's all like depends on the uh, business, depends on the traffic uh, that we get it from the users in web pages. After installing, after uh, uh, launching EC2 instances, uh, we can develop our own software systems like uh, you can develop your own applications through uh, web pages Apache web by installing Apache web server. We can develop our, our own software systems. Okay, so let's start with EC2 launch instance. Step one. Okay, in step one, we will uh, create EC2 instance step by step. Then in second step, uh, we will try to access uh, that EC2 instance using putty tool. Then in third step, we can try to access the same instance using mobile extreme third party tool. So we can access this EC2 instances in two ways. One is with the putty tool and the other one is using some third party tools uh, which uh, provides Unix tunnels. Go to browser. Now let's get started with step one. Go to browser. Select Amazon.com AWS. Go to sign into the console. Login with your credentials. 
it will give you the home page where you can see all the services either you can select on these services else by default if you want to go to any services you can select the services under compute you can see ec2 select ec2 this is a ec2 home page uh, where you can see if you have any running instances or if you have any uh, dedicated host volumes key pairs elastic ips it will give you all the details uh, about your ec2 detail see i have one key pair with me let me just delete that key pair i will create one new one just to show you how to create new pairs go to ec2 now i don't have any instances running no key pairs now go to launch instance in step one we need to uh, choose the operating system uh, that we want to run on the ec2 machine for example amazon has their own linux flavor uh, operating system that is amazon linux and uh, red hat enterprise linux it is a different uh, uh, linux uh, operating system and uh, you have you can see if you want to see if you want to run windows servers you can select windows servers as well for now we'll select red hat lightnax in step 2 instant type we need to select so there are many instant types like micro instances general purpose compute optimized fpga graphics memory storage what is this instant type means so uh, we uh, depends on the business like uh, your business is more on data side you want to retrieve data fast you want to process data in fast manner so in that kind of business storage optimized instant type will give you quick solution so it, that will be feasible for your business so depends on the business you you can select the type of the instance in our practice session i will select a general purpose and which is uh, t2.micro so if you see here type t2.micro so uh, in this type you have three parts one is uh, alphabet uh, 2 then number then after the dot you have small medium large what is this t represents it's a instance family so for general purpose you have t if you select uh, memory you have rx so that represents the instant family if you select compute optimized it will start with c so first letter represents instance family then the number represents instant generation like second generation third fourth fifth which generation it belongs to then third part represents size instant size whether it is a small micro large x large double x large so it represents the size so there are three parts in instant type first part represents instant family second part represents instant generation third part represents instant size for now we will select general purpose t2.micro which is free tier eligible the other all instances if you use they will charge you some amount so for our practice session i will use free tier eligible go to next step in step 3 we need to configure details like uh, on which network you want to run on which ip address you want to run this instance uh, like uh, auto assigning ip addresses auto assigning ip address nothing but if you enable this uh, feature it will directly assign a public ip address when you launch the instance so we no need to uh, create our uh, public ip addresses it will automatically enable this feature and it will give you the public ip address so uh, you have to define all these details select next step so by default uh, red hat linux will come with 10 gb uh, space if, if you want to increase your volume you can increase it by clicking on add new volume for now i don't require so I, I don't choose tags tag is nothing but uh, for your tracking purpose you can define the names for the servers next 
security group so uh, what is security group a security group is nothing but a firewall so for each and every service uh, they will have their own port numbers and uh, uh, firewalls so for example if you see ssh secure shell so for this secure shell uh, protocol is tcp and port range is 22 so by default this ssh will be uh, added when you in, when you launch the instance but if you want to run any web services like apache web server if you want to run you have to add http service by selecting http for http uh, protocol is tcp port range is 80 just review all the details whatever you have chosen in the previous steps launch now it will ask you for the key pair key pair uh, for launching instance for logging into the machine a key pair is important because without key pair we cannot log into the server either you can uh, create your own create your own key pair RL, RL you can or else you can use your existing keeper if you have downloaded that already now I, ha I have not downloaded any key pair so I'm downloading one new key pair red hat download key pair so I have downloaded a key pair that is that is dot pem file it's a PEM file. Whatever we download uh, from AWS console, that will give you .pem file. File format is PEM file. Then click on launch instances. View instances. Now if you see our instance is still pending state. That means it is uh, doing some checks for launching the instance for example uh, whether the instance what we have chosen what the hardware we have chosen on the server whether it is uh, reachable or not it will check so that status checks we call it as two by two checks there are two types of uh, checks status checks and instance checks so it will take some time to uh, come into running status Now, second step, use putty tool for login. I will open putty tool. For By default, ec2-user is the username for logging into the server. ec2-user at the rate. Now we need to select the IP address. Whether you can, you can select IP DNS name or you can select public IP any one you can select both will work I will select public DNS now we are going to SSH on the server so for SSH port number 22 we need to select go to SSH authentication browse if you see uh, putty will support only .ppk file but we don't have any .ppk file here because the file whatever we have downloaded from Amazon is PEM file. So we need to convert this PEM file into PPK file. For converting PEM file into PPK, we need to uh, use Putty Key Generator tool. Open Putty Key Generator tool, load the PEM file what you have downloaded from Amazon. Red Hat. The key has been successfully imported. Now the key has been imported into putty. Now we need to save that uh, key with ppk format. Save private. For additional security purpose if you want to give any key phrase you can give it. So this key phrase you have to give uh, when you log into the server. For now I won't give anything. That's all.
if you browse it you can see red hat ppk file just select that file open just say yes so we have logged into server successfully if you want to see where you are exactly pwd it will give you present working directory now you are in home and ec2 user if you want to sudo on root user just type sudo it will take you to the root user if you see present working directory so you have successfully ssh into the server this is a ssh uh, login using putty now step 3 we'll see how to login or how to ssh through mobile xterm third party tool so this mobile xterm is uh, one third party tool where you can uh, access your unix uh, terminals i will delete existing sessions i will create one new session you have to select ssh now go to instance select public dns You have to give the hostname here, then advanced SS settings, use private key. So uh, for mobile XTERM, we don't require to give PPK file. The PEM file what we have downloaded it from Amazon, that would be sufficient to log in. So this is a PEM file we have downloaded from Amazon. See, I have selected PEM file, then I have given, okay. Okay, now default username is ec2-user. So it is authenticating the uh, PEM file, whatever what we have given. So it is successfully logged into the server. Present working directory, home ec2-user. If you want to go to your root user, sudo sudo minus i there are two commands you can do uh, like sudo space su space hyphen or sudo minus i if you see you're in root directory so this is how you can log in using mobile extra tool If you want to exit, just type exit, close, type exit, type exit. So after you launch the servers, you can just stop or you can terminate the instance. It will come to terminated uh, state. It will go off from my screen after some time. Thanks for watching my video.